Delicious Day with Ara. Today we're gonna make omuk tang. To subscribe and like! So omuk tang is basically a fish cake soup that we normally eat it pag medyo malamig ang panahon or even with a side dish of our tteokbokki. This is the best partner to eat. It's very easy to make and probably when you went to Korean groceries, you've actually seen fish cakes like this. They come in different sizes and shapes. Meron tayong mga flat na uh, fish cakes like this. Or sometimes there are um, some brands and packaging that comes na medyo matataba na finger looking uh, fish cakes like this. So either way, we can use both. We're gonna make a very simple heartwarming great soup dish you can have. So first of all, we're gonna make our broth. Stay tuned! So for the difference of the broth for Korean meals is that uh, we're very based on the kelp that you probably can also get this from the Korean groceries and anchovies or the big myeolchi. Um, the small ones we stir fry and use it as a viand. The one that's as big as your fingers, we normally cook this by making it into a broth. So I got this from Korean groceries, my big myeolchi. Those are very um, big anchovies. First, I'm gonna toss them in the fire before making it into a broth because I just want to remove all the melon sang smell that it may have. So put this on your pot. You can use as many anchovies you want or as many myeolchi you want. Here I have just a handful of it. So turn on your fire. So on the medium fire, I'm just gonna toss it quickly. You can always make your myeolchi or your um, anchovy based broth directly agad sa water. But if you really want to have a cleaner taste of it, it's much better if you just give a quick stir fry of it. And medyo, if you can see that it's uminit ng konte ang ating anchovies. Now I'm gonna add in my water, a very generous amount of your water. And this soup base or broth is really good for a lot of the Korean soup meals that you can make. So I've added a very generous amount of my water and this is um, kelp. It really depends on how much kelp you want to add. The health benefit of this is really there's a lot of the minerals and vitamins on it. And probably you've noticed that most of our Korean soups are broth are based on the kelp. So I'm just gonna add around four to five pieces that I've already cut cut it in small um, squares like this. So, I calculated it before I put it in the freezer. So, I'm gonna drop it around four pieces of it. I have here one whole radish just to make my broth a little richer in flavor. So, I put it in the And because I got my radish very fresh from the market this morning, um, this part, na yung parang ulo ng radish, I don't know how you call it, um, came off with it. But nasayang lang na itatapon ko lang. So what I do is I normally cut this off, rinse it very well, and this can actually give a very richer flavor for our broth as well. All this part of the vegetables that we tapon natin, um, it's really good if we can just store them and then put them on our broth. Nagbibigay siya ng nutrients, but also the flavor of it. And now for my radish, I'm just gonna cut it parang padayago na lang. and put it also on my broth. And here is my one whole white onion. Uh, for the white onion, the cover, the skin of the onion gives a very good flavor for the broth. And of course, I cannot forget to mention yung napaka masustansya din niya. So when I make a broth using my onions, I just really clean it very well. Gumagamit ako ng baking soda, water, and a vinegar. Ni rock ko talaga siya. And then rinse it, and then we can just toss it directly sa ating broth. I preserve ko yung aking green part mamaya for the garnishing of my soup and for the broth. I'm just gonna use my yung white part ng ating leeks and then we're just gonna boil and boil to get our rich flavored broth. Must try recipe. So now we're gonna prepare our fish cake or omuk while our broth is still boiling. For in case na kumuha kayo ng like this na flat kind of omuk, we're gonna. Get sugar mga four pieces. Normally, my uh, serving is one sheet per person, so I'm just gonna get sugar three lang kasi meron ako ibang klase ng omuk as well. So we can just cut them. You can cut in any kinds of shapes and sizes you want. Or if you happen to get another kind of omuk, which is really for the soup base, and you'll see na yung shape niya is medyo mataba like sticks and different shapes. So what we can do is we can actually put them on a parang barbecue sticks like this and then para we can just um, cook it together and then eat it as a stick itself. So um, we can just do so with our sticks. 
So there is some omuk or fish cake that comes in a small ball. So that's super cute. I'm just gonna make tusok tusok in the stick like this. Basically, omuk is like a Korean version of our kikyam. So whatever shape, sizes, and how you want to present it, you can all do it. And meron din naman ganito na parang ring. Just gonna make it parang half lang. Para madali siya itusok sa stick. So my omuk is ready. Let's see now if my broth is okay na. So as you can see, malanta na lahat ng ating mga vegetables that I've boiled. But I'm gonna leave my radish because radish is really good to be complemented with my omuk. So this is my broth. I would recommend na maganda if you can make it in big batches because it's actually perfect for all kinds of soup recipes. And now here, iniwan ko lang talaga is our radish. I'm gonna add in now our omuk na kaya na prepare natin. So in case you don't have this um, different kinds of assorted na omuk and you just have the flat ones, it's totally fine as well. So now, ilalagay na natin sa ating broth. And because I want to have a very clear soup mamaya, I have here my garlic. This is around two tablespoons of my garlic. Um, if I add kasi the minced garlic sa aking soup, magiging medyo dirty ang kanyang labas. And if I use the whole garlic, hindi masyado magiging garlic and flavor. So the best way to put my garlic on my soup without making the soup medyo magiging parang dirty, medyo makalat ang itsura, I'm gonna have to use my strainer and dito natin ilalagay ang ating garlic. Actually, mas maganda kung malit ang ating strainer. It just happens sa malaki ang ating strainer. So try to melt your garlic in here and give it a very quick boil. Para na makaroon ng touch of garlic scent sa ating soup. So after a quick boil, I'm gonna strain off my garlic. So I can smell the aroma of my garlic on my soup. And yet, hindi na dumihan ng ating um, parang texture of my soup is still very clear. And I'm gonna add some flavors to my soup. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of my toyo and one tablespoon of my patis. It's very easy to make this one and mabilis lang as long as you have your broth ready. And you can adjust the saltiness of the soup based on your taste bud. You can always better to adjust the flavor using salt. So I'm going to add a little bit of saltiness using some um, few pinches of my salt. And you can see now once naluluto na yung ating omuk, tumataba, it bloats up. After a quick boil, this is already very good to be eaten. I'm going to prepare my licks pang garnish ng ating omuk. So here is my omuk tang, very simple to make, very heartwarming. Now I have another extra meal that you can do um, if you have this extra broth and soup na tira and you want to have this and you have this extra soup. I'm gonna show you how to make udong, very simple. Nagagamitin natin ang omuk tang as our base. So back to our caldero, I have left here um, some half of my omuk tang. I boil ko siya ulit. And I'm gonna give a quick boil to my uh, half of my omuk tang. And if you can get a grab of um, udong noodles like this, this is actually hand pulled styled na frozen udong noodles. You can get it probably from right now Chinese, Korean, and Japanese groceries. I'm gonna add this pack of it, and we can already actually have omuk udong or like fish cake kind of udong na masarap din kainin. So I'm gonna open a pack of my noodles. So when your omuk tang is boiling, I'm gonna add one hand pulled noodles. Actually, um, for the noodles like this, the udong noodles, you, ha you can boil it separately as a pot. But if you're a little bit of a one pot cooking style na preferred in you like me, you can just actually dump it here together as well. It wouldn't really make a lot of a difference. Medyo magiging malapot konti ang ating soup. But that's very good also to complement our udong noodles as well. So it will be around 5 to 7 minutes of a quick boil hanggang magiging al dente ang ating noodles and we're gonna turn off the fire. So after five minutes, my udong myeon is already cooked. I'm gonna turn off my fire, and then serve it natin siya. So I have here my omuk tang, the original version, and I have here my udong version, which you can use as a very heartwarming bowl of noodles. And just to give you a little bit of a tip how to eat our odeng much better, or omuk much better, um, add vinegar and soy sauce one-to-one -one ratio. I have here my soy sauce, isa. 
and my vinegar. And this mustard, you can actually replace it with wasabi just for a little bit of a kick of a flavor. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a wasabi of my mustard on the side. And this is the best dip that I can recommend for my omuk. And sprinkle, of course, always with a sesame seed. Stay tuned! Tada! So here is my omuk tang and my omuk udon. I hope you enjoy my very simple recipe which you can easily make it in the comforts of your home. So see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! It's super wasara. The best of the omuk tang is basically the soup. So heartwarming. And of course, our omuk da udeng, which we have made it in the tusuk tusuk in our steak. Mmm! It's like you're walking on the streets of Korea because these are one of the most popular street food. You'll really enjoy. Super easy. Even the whole family will love it. So I hope you enjoy my recipe.